simplifying square roots. Some of my favorite problems. I actually have a pretty good analogy for this one. I think of breaking out of prison. Breaking out of prison. Okay, so first, radical 20. Take 20 and let's find the prime factorization of the number 20. 20 breaks down into 4 times 5 and 4 breaks down into 2 times 2. So, who escapes from prison? Okay. In order to escape from prison, you need to have a partner in crime here, and we have a partnership or a pair of twos. So the number 2 will escape from prison. Who stays in prison? Well, 5 didn't have a partner, so 5 stays inside of the radical prison, and thus the answer for this problem, the simplification, would be 2 rad 5. Okay. Second problem. 32 is the same as 4 times 8. 4 is 2 times 2. 8 is 4 times 2. And 4 is 2 times 2. So we've reduced the number 32 into its prime factorization. Any pairs to escape from prison? Well, there's a pair of 2's here, and there's a pair of 2's here. So there are two pairs of 2's. 2 and 2 escape, and 2 times 2 is the number 4. So we have 4 that escapes from the prison. Who's left over? This lonely 2 didn't have a partner with which they get to escape, so 2 stays inside of the prison. So 2 times 2 in front, but still a 2 left inside of prison. Okay, try this one on your own. Radical 40. What is the square root of 40? Simplify it. Pause the video for a second, try it out, and follow along after you've already tried it on your own here. 40 is the same as 4 times 10. 4 is 2 times 2. 10 is 2 times 5. So, who escapes from prison? Well, there's a pair of 2's, so we will get a 2 that escapes from prison. And who's left in prison? Now this time there's a 2 and a 5 that are separately left in prison. So 2 and 5 stay in prison. What's 2 times 5? 2 times 5 is 10. And so the answer to this problem would be 2 times the square root of 10.